Hi Dave from Buzzy here. Just a quick video to show you how you can modify a Buzzy app that's been generated by the Buzzy AI Assistant. So here's one I created with the AI Assistant. It's given me a set of screens that it's generated based on the brief I gave it. And at this point, I've already started modifying things, but at this point it's basically just a Buzzy app and a Figma file. And so you can go and change the design however you want. Um, it's using Figma components and instances and styles. So that's a start and a quick way of updating things rapidly. So you'll notice there's some color styles. If you select the canvas in Figma, it'll show you local styles that have been set up. Um, if I select an item, the design tab's obviously got that stuff for that item in it. But if you select canvas, styles show up. So here you can see the colors that I've got. Um, if you go over to the components page that it um, that the template AI template gives you. Um, there's some swatches. I've just got some sample swatches that I've started changing my colors over. So you notice I haven't changed the brand 500. And so all my buttons, there we go. They're still blue. I want to make the, make sure I change that color swatch. So select canvas, go over to your styles, find the style you want to edit, click the little edit button. There you go, you can go and choose a different color. Now I've got a swatch here. Um, when you're changing these colors, it's important to look at the grading of those, um, the way they're organized. So these are graded from 100 to 900. Um, try and use similar tints or shades to give the design consistency. Um, so yeah, I'm matching a 500 to 500, which I've grabbed from the material design palettes, material design too. So if I now go back and look at my buttons, because they're using that color, swatch the 500, there we go, there's our button. I could go and change, again, the components are used throughout the design. So I'm in my component library here. This is the Figma master component. If I go and change the button to use, um, for instance, the gradient as the fill, there we go, look at that. They'll, they pop a lot more. We jump back to our generated demo. There's our buttons, they're popping now. And if I republish this app using the Buzzy plugin, these changes will flow through to it. Uh, you can go and edit these screens directly. Again, this is just a Buzzy app. Um, I could add a new section here, for instance, to the home page. There it is, it's a side scrolling featured section. I can use the Buzzy plugin to go and dynamically mark that up as a dynamic menu. I won't do that right now, but you can go and edit the design of this. Let's give it a fill, um, we'll make it a gradient as well. There we go, got a bright orange featured section which will side scroll and so on. So it's basically just Figma and Buzzy editing business as usual. Um, have fun with it, cheers, bye.